introducing GTD again this season with uh, new BOPs on the cars to make them a little slower than the GTLM cars. This season, as in real life, it is open up to all GT3 cars. So this is going to be a very interesting class. Um, one note is that because now we have two classes of GT cars, we're putting big emphasis on the roof banners being green, the mirrors if you can paint them, and also the wing inlets just like in real life. And also you got to have GTD on your bumper with the green number boards. These cars, they uh, can go about... 175 to maybe 180 on the uh, straights they're uh, a little bit slower than their GTLM counterparts but very competitive none the least all right we are showing off the uh, GTLM BMW as you can see it's a LM car it's got the red mirrors the red uh, markers on its uh, windows also has the red markers on its uh, wing inlets also it's got the GTLM uh, all over it can be these cars can go about 180 to 185 maybe even a little faster in the draft these things with the wider tires that they get unlike the GTD cars they make a lot of grip through the corners and they are very fast And this is the final class, the prototype class. I'll be showing two different types of prototypes for this class because it runs two different types in real life. This is the Visit Florida Corvette DP. As you can see, it has a red number board, uh, mirrors, wing inlets, etc. This is uh, the designated class. The prototype cars are the fastest, most handling car on the track. They can reach about... 190 even faster in the draft incredible piece of machinery and uh, let's go and show you the other prototype right quick this is the corvette dp this is the p2 configurative of the class they all run together in the same class as you can see number boards etc same thing now the p2 cars have a lot better handling than the DPs but they are much slower on the accelerating part of the stick these cars do hit 190 if not even quicker but it just takes them a little bit longer to get to that <laughs> 